so guys welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about why mamo said to bag is better for your baking than substance painter so well, let's get right to it so i have um, um a senior uh character is sculpted uh he brush and he has this details i want to bake into my low poly if i should go to all low you can see it has a little poly. So I'm what I'm just gonna give you a workflow of how I bake and how I work with Mama Set and Substance Painter so that you guys can understand the workflow, you know, the industry standard workflow. <laughs> so, anyways, um you you usually would go see this to Blender. So I have like um the low poly, which is uh, let me turn off the high poly. So I created like two collections in Blender where I exported like the low poly of the character. So yeah, in this case, just Chad and the chef is wearing. Then also, I also exported the high poly. So you can export this in many different ways. You can do like a decimation so that it's not that heavy so that you can still keep the details. And if you really want to know about decimation, you can just check online. Basically what it is, is maybe you duplicate the um, you see all oh, high you just duplicate this then go to z plugin and you go to decimation master you pre-process then you choose like a poly count that you want for example 150 will be ideal then you export that as a high poly you do that for each of your uh model you want to so if you're done with zbrush you just go to blender and then blender you just like get ready to export so what I did was, um, let me turn this off, is that I made sure that I, the reason why you don't just go from blend ZBrush to Substance or ZBrush to Mamo Set most of the time is that you want to set up the materials, for example. So what I did was I uh, created a material for this. So I named this one Chad and I named this one Shed. So let me just rename this guy Chad underscore low, which is really important to do before you export is that you make sure you add this prefix like the underscore low, the shed underscore low, and uh, the high poly, you make it underscore high and uh, shed underscore high. When you have that, the next thing you have to do is export this. So I'm just going to select the low poly and export them individually. So I will say export OBJ, and I'm just going to create a folder. I'm going to call it mesh export. So this is a workflow kind of tutorial. So, so that you guys can get the workflow. So you create this and I'm going to call this, um, Chad on the squad low, make sure you put the on squad low so that mama said can actually understand this, the low poly and just dive to it. If you can just make this, um, capital, sometimes it's just best to do this. So it doesn't really matter most of the time, but I like to do that. Just Yes. Uh Chad low, then the shed will be Chad low um shed low. So I'm just gonna export this. You can use FBX or OBJ, it doesn't matter whichever one you prefer. So I'm just gonna change this to shed low. So make sure selected only is selected, is sticked, and uh you can turn this off and just turn the eye poly and you make sure you select this. And you go to export, export OBJ. And this time I'm going to just change, uh, I'm going to click on Chad low and make sure I change this to high. Then you go to um, reset and go to export. Then you go to uh, OBJ again and we should check this and Pi and export. So now we have the low and the high. The last export we need to do is take the low poly. This is for substance. You know, with substance, you have to have uh, low, the low poly to get that. Then you send the high poly to bake. But in Mama Set, you don't really do that since we're just doing that, just baking in Mama Set. So we will just select this two object and export. OPJ and we'll call it character uh, 
here and that is that and the next thing we have to do is to mamu said and we don't need to import anything we just have to go to this uh new big project since we're just baking and we'll go to the quick loader and we'll just load and uh, with documents we'll go to mesh export let's name the folder and we'll click everything here except character and we'll say open And give it a sec uh, and it's ready so the next thing we have to do is like make sure everything we have here is uh, it's um, perfect and ready to to pick so first of all we need to change the output part and under the mesh export just create a new folder and call it maps and name it maps this is what I usually do we leave it at Photoshop, doesn't really matter. Then you change this to 16 bits, um, 16 samples, format AV channel is fine. Uh, make sure multi texture sets is turned on. If you don't do that, all the normal map and everything will be slapped into one texture and your shirt will have the same normal map as the body. So you create this, so it's gonna separate them for us. So Resolution, I usually use 4K, it's the best. That's enough resolution for most projects. So we're just gonna leave normals for now, since let's just work with normals. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So, I'm just cross-checking. So yeah, the next thing we have to do is just preview bake. So I'm going to preview bake and as we can see, uh, the baking is perfect. Let me just turn on turn off the shirt since we're just really focused on the skin. Uh, the baking is perfect. Everything looks good. Everything is fine. Now, if we should scroll down here, we will see some artifacts. So, but every other thing is fine. Like this is really um, a good baking. So, how do we solve this artifact problem? Most of the time, if your project might not be as perfect as this, because substance painter tend to get artifacts on the lips, most of this um, stuff gets tend to get artifacts on the lips because the lips are very close. And if we should turn um, child and go to low poly, which you look at the cage, you see things are intercepting. So when things are really close, they tend to have those artifacts. You see, and the yeah. So let's just say. Uh, our walking substance is that we would just bring this down a bit to a reasonable aspect and you can see there are some artifacts here so if we should um, check this out we have some artifacts here and i'm just going to stop here we have some artifacts here i'm just going to stop here and go to substance and so that i can actually compare both for you before we sh i show you the model of why this is better so we're just going to go to substance and I'm just going to bring a new project and go to this mesh export, select the character and make sure it's funky. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to bring chat for us. Then we will go to big mesh and funky, make sure it's funky. Turn on shit because you just want to bake the chat and show for selected textures only. And we can bring our high poly. And if we go to mesh export, we go to chat I bring it in, give it a sec because it's really high. I didn't decimate mine, so but you should most of the time. So so we have this, we have the intersecting in our in our mesh. And if we usually what you do is like you bring this down, and if you see the red part, you know that okay, this is gonna cause some issues. So you have to like put it here, then just select big chat and big chat. So it's gonna bake, give it a sec. Okay, it's done baking. And if we return to the painting mode, we can actually see it's pretty nice bake. But we can see artifacts here. We can see artifacts in the lips. And usually there is nothing you can do. You can't do anything apart from going to Photoshop and fix these artifacts. All baking will have these artifacts. But the the game changer that Mamo said asked that I don't understand how Adobe can put this into their program and just make it easy. So the game changer that um, 
Mamusel has is just this. So now we have our own artifacts. We have some few artifacts here and there. Let's just go to low and maybe just increase it a bit. So we can maybe reduce the artifacts. And we still have on the lips here. We have some here. And, and we have here on the arms. So now, how do we fix this? So we come here, we're going to paint offset. And this is going to bring out, one sec, this is going to bring out this for us, where it's like a mask thing. So what you're doing is like you're masking the cage, the influence on the cage of the, on the model. So now if, if I should paint now, it's like, you can see it's coloring here black. And that's still like it's reducing it's like shrinking the the cage on only this aspect so if you want that that's what you want but in this case we want to inflate it so how do we do that we press control and if we just do this it's gone so it's gone yeah like i said it's it's still using the one and zero thing so if the the, the cage is too low you might have to just increase it a bit and that will clean that and we can come here holding control and click it the thing is that because you can paint anywhere you are in control on of your of your mask like if i should take this down almost like you see artifacts here and i'm like okay how do i solve this problem yeah you would um go back to low and just click on paint offset and just click and click and click and it just shrinks the aspect for you and if we come here it's no longer there it's gone it's it's really amazing how adult doesn't have this this is a game changer and just paint 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 you know and it's gone you can come to the year and come back here and paint offset yeah you know come here it's gone We paint. Paint offset. And it's gone. We have perfect bake. No problem. Now we can go to our big project and like, okay, we have our normal maps are perfect because if the normal maps are good, everything is good. So we have this and we'll probably want to add like um, an ambient occlusion or a curvature map. Or whatever i'm just going to do the a normal um, ambient inclusion for this project then i'm going to send these maps to substance painter and uh you can see how that works so what we now we see our big is perfect so what do you want to do you want to bake because we've created our output it's just gonna bake that and let's just bring a mesh export and bring it here and we'll go to maps, we can see uh, maps chart AO, maps chart normal. So now I'm just going to go to substance and bring that in. And I'm going to see, okay, my mesh maps. So I'm just going to bring this down. So we have wall space, ID, and everything. You can all do this in um, Mamo set to go back. So in case you don't like the uh, thickness here, you can just mask, you can just pick that in Mamo set to back and bring it to substance so i'm just going to drag my i'm just going to drag my normal my map chart normal to this normal so that it just overwrites the one um substance created so i'm just going to come here and map chart normal i'm just going to drag it here and it should update and clear out that so it has actually done that but we can see there's a seam in between the normal and this is really good now we have to troubleshoot this so sometimes this happens so the way to solve this is to come here you just have to just go to normal settings and just flip the y so i think it's just like an open geo direct x settings so flip the y and just bake again so now we can go to substance come here Take this and uh, replace it again and it's gone so everything looks fine now we have this white stuff underneath and that's the eo if we delete this you can see it's no longer there so we can just bring the map chat eo and just replace it with this 
and our EO is just awesome. Everything is awesome. So we have this because of the shirt. So we baked well. So now you can now start painting, you know, create your fill layer and you just do whatever you want to do and everything is working and you don't have any artifacts. You don't have to go to Photoshop to clean anything and it's perfect. And I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for any kind of tutorial in the future, let me know. I would like to make more. And if you think you are, um, I should make something that you don't understand that you think I have the knowledge for, let me know and I will make them tutorials. So uh, until next time, I'll see you. Peace.